here surfaced, I just put things on top of each other until I have a pile. Then I move on to the other surface, then I make a pile. Has this been a pattern in your life? Pretty much, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Why call me now? I feel like I'm dragging a weight and I just want to move on to new me and new life and enjoy it. This is no way to start a new adventure. I need to help Max learn how to handle his space and take it to its full potential. I really love this spaciousness of this loft, but I still feel that it's very, very crowded. Mm. You know what? A lot of people are attracted to lofts because of the spaciousness. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, because there's one big space, we forget about boundaries. So what I want you to imagine is that there are walls here, and things that are in the living room belong in the living room, and things that are in the office belong in the office. What's happening here is a lot of spillover. So what we need to do is define each space. Okay, well, when I come back, I'm going to have my crew with me, okay. and we're going to start going through all of this stuff and make room. Well, it looks to me like Max is making a fresh start, and he's going to have to learn how to be organized. It's going to be a big job. There's a lot of stuff in that space, but I want to show him how he can use that loft to its full potential. I can't let them go. And what's the reason? Because I'm a gadget king. Max came from Japan looking for more space, but the clutter in his loft still has him living in cramped conditions. This was a dining table, but yeah. it never functioned as a dining table. My goal is to teach him how to make the most of this place. My place doesn't give me confidence. The clutter makes me feel that I'm carrying some kind of weight. The things I need are out of reach. I have to shift things from left to right so that I can make space. I love this place, but I want to enjoy it. This loft has no clearly defined boundaries, and the clutter is everywhere. I gotta fix that. The desk here in this claustrophobic corner, that's not working. The clutter on the countertop has to be cleared, and these boxes, all of this stuff, it's got to go. I need to rework this loft. Hey, Max. Here's the plan for today. Just because you don't have walls in this loft doesn't mean you shouldn't have boundaries. The clutter crew is going to tape off all the different areas. We're going to create imaginary walls so we can take each item to the space it belongs. While they're busy doing that, I'm going to work in the kitchen with Max, giving him a few simple solutions to keep this area organized and clutter free. You know what, Max? You have a lot of things that just don't belong in the kitchen like, you know, tools and other household items intermingling with your plates and your food. That's because I don't have any other spaces that I can store those items. So we need to create a storage space for you where these items that you don't use daily but need access to are easily available to you. In a loft, storage space is minimal, so it's essential to assign homes for everything and get creative with your solutions. All right, Max, it's time to deal with your grocery bag collection, okay? Now, they are taking up way too much valuable storage space in your kitchen. I got you this great grocery bag holder. Loose items can get out of control. Contain them in compact storage devices to reduce clutter and gain more room. And the bag has a sieve, oh. so you can actually put it on the inside of your kitchen cupboard. Oh. It doesn't take up hardly any space at all. How easy is that? It's super easy. Okay, Max, all of these boxes, let me know if it's keep it, toss, or donate. Videos, keep. These are photos. What were your photos doing in a box full of garbage? That's what I'm curious about. Good question, I don't know. <laughs> sure, keep. Now, where would this go? Closet. The closet, okay. One of the biggest problems here is the random placement of items. By setting up different areas for different functions, it'll be easier for Max to put things where they belong, freeing up space and time. Well, you know, Max, I'm not a huge fan of these, and I can tell they're not working for you. Max is using these bulky bins for his garbage and recycling. They're in the way. He needs a better solution. This is cool. Let me show you how it works. Okay. You have one system for all three. Your trash, your bottles and cans, and your papers. All in one place. Touch of a button opens them up. 
Wow. They're already pre-sorted, mm -hmm. saving you lots of time and mess. Cool. And look how easy it is when you're all done to just lift it up and take it out. In an open concept space, organizing products are often out for everyone to see. So go for items that have function and style. Keep, keep, keep. Is this hard for you? Reminds me that of what I enjoyed before. But if you never listen to these CDs and you want to make room mm -hmm. for new items that you're interested in now, the music that you enjoy today, mm -hmm. then you gotta get rid of them. I can donate those. Donate? Donate. Okay. Keep donate. In a loft space, it's easy for clutter to accumulate and close in on you. So you need to be selective and pare down to the essentials. Okay, so welcome to your office space. This is gonna be the new defined office space for okay. you. But all of these bins under here, back here, all of this is electronics. So you have one, two, three computers. Mm -hmm. Are you using all three? Laptop and desktop that I want to keep. Look at all this stuff. What is all this? It's just part of me. It's, it's, I'm a gadget person. I love it. Do you need all of these? No, but I can't let them go. And what's the reason? Because I'm a gadget king. Look at this joystick. When was the last time you used that? You know, this is what's my kingdom. I can see this isn't going to be easy. To warm him up, I'm going to move him to another area to make some quick decisions. Now, here's the little incense burner we found on your kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you think you'll use? No. Okay. <laughs> Donate. Okay, and what about... Oh. Does this have a shade? I must have lost it. You got a lot of candles. Are you a romantic guy? Um, I just tried. Now tell me about your shirt. Oh, this is between the new me and old me. What do you mean? Insecure. <laughs> so I have to get rid of the in. I have to purge the in okay. so that you have security. Okay. <laughs> All right. To help Max get to where he wants to be, he has to confront the excess he's holding on to. It's time to tackle the electronics. Okay, Max, I know this is killing you, mm -hmm. but I don't know how I'm gonna give you the streamlined office that I wanna give you with all of this stuff. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some purging happening. This is one of the hardest things I can uh, even think about letting go. Mm. Do you see my perspective here? If you keep collecting this mm -hmm. stuff, it's gonna take over your space, and you mm. chose this space because it's open. You gotta be realistic. I can't house all of this electronic stuff in the office, but it belongs in the office. Mm -hmm. What I need you to do tonight is pare it down to half. Half? Half. Of all of these? Yep. Yep, for the challenge, you can do it. I knew that I was Gadget King. It's like letting my children go. Max's gorgeous loft space is in chaos. I've challenged him to pare down, but he's struggling. Do you need all of these? It's just part of me. It's, it's, I'm a gadget person. To give him the space he's looking for, I need him to let go. So how was your night yesterday, Max? You know what? It was one of the hardest things I have ever done. Really? What was hard about it for you? You knew that I was Gadget King. It's like letting my children go. Wow. <laughs> so show me what you've done. What's all this stuff here? I realized the things I'm not using. Okay. That means I can let them go. So all of this stuff is donate? Yep. Fantastic. And then your keeps? Keeps are underneath. Oh, okay. Well, that's fantastic, Max. You've got it down to about half, mm -hmm. which was our goal. Mm -hmm. So you rose to the challenge. I and did. I know you doubted yourself yesterday. It, 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 I knew it would be hard, but I did. Fantastic. Well, that's going to help us today. You're over the hurdle now. <laughs> if you continue purging this way, okay. I can create the type of space that you're looking for. We still have a lot of work ahead, but now with Max on side, I'm hoping we can get on a roll. All right. Donate. 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 Wow, you're donating a lot of books. Well, why should I keep them once I've read it? So you're able now to make a conscious decision and whether you should keep or let something go. 
and then you changing me. That's awesome. I'm so glad. That's really <laughs> terrific. Max's new pare down approach is great. The clutter is clearing out, and I can show him how to start taking more control of his space. Max, you had this shelving unit but you were accommodating it instead of letting it accommodate you. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how to make it work for you. Okay. These shelves are adjustable. Oh. We can move this up and just pop in the box so there's no wasted space. Remember all those household items we found that didn't actually have a home? Well, I'm using these for those. This is a great place to store items that are needed but not used on a regular basis. You're gonna be able to define this space as your storage area and avoid all your items spilling all over the loft. With the clutter on its way out, I can focus on making this loft work for Max. With an open floor plan like this, the key is boundaries. I'm gonna create a dining area here, a living area here, and over here, I'm gonna place the desk. That's gonna be an office area that's in an open space so Max can work comfortably. Now I'm gonna show Max some great solutions to rein in his computer cords and cables. Max, I wanna show you several options to deal with your mess of wires. First of all, these straps attach to the back of the desk and hold the wire in place. These ties hold the coils in place so you can pick up any slack. This tubing is great for bundling several wires and keeping it neat. And this sticky mount comes with an attached tie that allows you to keep the tubing in place. Now all of these wires go to the power bar, which we've clearly labeled. That's great. Well, Max, you did really well. Well, thank you. And the next time you come back, you're gonna have the loft you always oh, wanted. I can't wait. I just need your keys. Oh, okay. Thank you. We can now get down to business. We need to build additional storage, bring in more functional pieces, and revamp the organization of this space. There's a lot of work ahead. Max moved from Japan looking for a fresh start, but the clutter in his loft was holding him back. I really love this spaciousness of this loft, but I feel that it's very, very crowded. By defining boundaries and paring down, we realize the full potential of his space. Now Max can finally settle in and enjoy his new lifestyle. I'm feeling very nervous. Nobody has ever done something like this to me, and I don't know what to expect. So it's really kind of, I'm freaking out. Okay, Max. Wow, amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm totally speechless. Before, this loft was covered in clutter and boundaries were blurred. With organizing systems in place, it's open and functional. So spacious, so much bigger than I thought. Now we have very well-defined boundaries. You've got your office space, your living room, your storage space, and your kitchen. Wow. Look at this workspace. Before, Max was working in a claustrophobic corner, but with the desk now out in the open, he has more room to spread out. You've got a filing system. This unit prevents spillover of paperwork, and this caddy keeps office supplies organized and out of the way. Look at your wires, all tucked away. Oh, okay. And I've used the vertical space here as a focal point. I've put mirrors up there that makes it feel more spacious in here. So this is where I decided to put your recycling center that we talked about. Now look at your countertop. Wow. This countertop was buried under clutter. Now its surface and purpose are clear. And this is gonna be your catch-all bowl. Oh. So instead of having things all over the countertop, you're gonna start putting all your little things in here and then when this gets full, you gotta promise me that you're gonna empty it out and start again. I promise. Okay, good. These shelves provide storage for everyday dishware. And with the shopping bags under control, there's plenty of storage space for cookware. This is your storage unit that you already had, but you weren't using it at all. So what I've done is I've used the bottom area here for all your household storage and magazines. Now, I got you this ladder so you can access things on the higher shelves. A big plus in a loft is vertical space. 
We've utilized these floor-to-ceiling shelves to accommodate all the items that aren't in everyday use. Now Max has all the storage he needs with easy access. The whole idea here, Max, is to give you back that open airiness feel of loft living that you always wanted. And I was able to do that by eliminating all of the clutter and defining the spaces. And by defining the zones, it's so much bigger now. Max can finally say goodbye to the clutter. And with his loft in order, he has the space he needs to enjoy his fresh start. Are you loving it? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, welcome to happy hour. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. This is fantastic. I can't wait to bring people over and entertain. That's one of the things I really wanted to do. Amazing. My new office area. This place totally reflects the new Max because it gives me so much confidence on the inside. So nice, I can show people and I can enjoy fully. Now, thanks to Helen, I have the dream loft.